Oh. Well, I gather you haven't heard the decision. No, not no. yet. We carried it today at the Policy and Resources Committee, which means we'll probably carry the full council because the Alliance came with us on a great was stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, so, yes. There's still one or two uncertainties, of course, about whether or not the Scottish Office uh, has given formal approval or informal approval to these pa that whole package going ahead. Yes, so, so that's really up to the Scottish Office now. I mean, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. That needs the extra money. Hi. They've not packed all. Brilliant. Oh, hello, Madge. Oh, hello, Eddie. Oh, and how's wee Raymond doing? Oh, he's doing fine, thanks very much, Madge. But, you know, I can't wait until he grows up and goes to school. Oh, and what school are you going to take him to? Oh, anyone that the government leaves open. Oh. I would just like to <laughs> wish loose ends all the very best. And um, it is now my very great pleasure to cut the ribbon. <laughs> The opening of the new community hairdresser's shop is a milestone for Wester Hales. Someone who's helped to reach this point over the years is Lawrence DeMarco. This is a very exciting day, the opening of our hairdresser. This is the first time that people of Wester Hales have gone in on equal terms into the marketplace. The hairdresser has no public subsidies whatsoever, and I think it's going to be the beginning of something that it will get bigger and bigger and bigger. The cafe has been a tremendous thing for the people of Wester Hills. It's, it's a sort of gathering point for, for people and volunteer organisations all through the estate. The challenge which faces us is to try and make that a commercial enterprise. The community have come to accept that the people that planned Wester Hills did not make provision for commercial operators to come in and open up these kinds of service businesses. So they've decided, right, we'll do it ourselves. We've proven we have the ability to put up actual buildings, so it's just as reasonable to use them for commercial enterprises as it is for community huts. That just about deals with the projects that we've got presently in hand. Um, and the next item on the agenda is the future projects. Lawrence, could you perhaps fill us in on the details of work so far? Yes, Chairman. Well, at the request of the board, I was asked to investigate the availability of future premises on this site. I've got good news. I've been to the Community Workshop Management Committee who administer this site and they have passed a policy decision unanimously that as premises become available on this site, they're going to be made available to this board. I've got better news still. They anticipate, I'm just checking this, they anticipate that within the next two months, premises which would be enough for three shop units are going to become available. And this suddenly makes our future planning real. in trying to make their community a better place and actually once you're out there working to make it better a lot of the pressures that you've suffered personally seem to alleviate we're involved in something that's very exciting and, and is evolving you know you're involved in something that's incredibly positive that is um, aiming to right some of the wrongs that have been done in the past to see Wester Hills pathfinding. I want to see it innovating. We've got the chance to start off from scratch and do everything in a new way. And now having fun, baby. It's getting kind of low. I need some one-on-one, -on -one, baby. I think in Wester Hills, if you want things done, you're going to have to get up and do them yourself. You can't just sit back and let people do them for you. A million magic crystals. This, in all honesty, is the first time in my life that I have ever felt part of a community. 
and that's very important if people just learn to take one step and to join in it's amazing what can be done So now you know how Wester Hills is facing up to the problems most common to all large housing estates. I hope you found our film useful and constructive. <laughs>